One of the appliances on the Genius 3 Marketplace is the Network Automation Appliance. I'm gonna drag that to my Genius 3 workspace. If you don't have this Network Automation Appliance available, have a look at the videos linked below which show you how to download and integrate this network appliance with GNS3. This is a Docker appliance. I'm gonna drag an ethernet switch to the workspace and run that on the GNS3 VM. I'm gonna drag a NAT cloud to the topology that's not actually required. Everything is already installed on this network automation appliance. I'm gonna connect the network automation appliance to this GNS3 switch and connect the GNS3 switch to the NAT cloud. I'll also add an iOS V router to the topology. You could use a Dynamips router here if you wanted to rather than using an iOS V router. So there's my basic topology that we're gonna to use for the initial video. You can make this topology more pretty if you like. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna start up the devices and open up a console. One of the reasons for using the NAT cloud is it has a DHCP server available. At the moment, the network automation appliance doesn't have an IP address. So I need to edit Etsy network interfaces and remove the two comments on these lines. And then I'm gonna save the file. So cat Etsy network interfaces. Notice those two lines are uncommented. That means that the device will use DHCP to get an IP address. I'll shut the appliance down and start it up again and open up a console. Close the old console. Here's the new console. Notice it's obtained an IP address from the NAT cloud. Once again, you don't have to do it this way. You could manually configure an IP address on your device if you wanted to. I'm just doing this so that I can access Google and the internet if I want to. It's not really required in this topology. Now I've been asked this question many times by network engineers in the initial Python videos. I've had responses and questions saying things like, but David, this is so much work, I can do this quicker by typing on the CLI. Now that may be true when you've got one device. We're gonna start slowly and as we get better and better, we're going to increase the network size. Don't lose sight of where we're going. Just because you can configure one device more quickly than perhaps using Ansible or Python, don't think it's gonna take you less time to configure 50 devices or 100 devices or 1,000 devices. Think about where we're going with automation tools. If you've got 100 devices and you need to configure 20 commands on 100 devices, that's 2,000 commands that you're either gonna type manually or allow a script to do it for you. I know which I'd prefer doing. So again, don't lose sight of where we're going. Just because I'm starting off with one device, don't lose sight of where we're going. It may be quicker to type the commands manually with one device, but this is a learning process. We are starting off slowly.